I'm not paying for that. I'm not, not? I, I mean, what I mean by that is that <clears throat> I understand the interest, I understand it would sell out, but I love and appreciate pugilistic sports. Uh, especially boxing. UFC is relatively new to me. I respect it. I appreciate it. I respect the hell out of those guys. Uh, but I've already said to Floyd, it would disrespect the game of boxing for him to allow Conor McGregor to step into the ring with him. And that's no disrespect to Conor McGregor. Floyd would get destroyed in an octagon. Conor would get destroyed in a boxing ring. But when you consider what this sport means to so many millions of people across the globe, you don't let a guy that has no history, no credentials in this sport, step in the ring against you when you have already established yourself as one of the all-time greats. It is a disrespect to the sport. I don't find that funny, and it is not something that I would enjoy, to be quite honest with you. So, if, last thing, if Floyd doesn't come back, who's going to be the new king of boxing according to Stephen A. Well, I don't know. Um, the king is hard. I'm waiting to see Canelo versus Golovkin. I want to see that. Crawford is no joke. He's special. I'm a huge Errol Spence fan. I think this, I mean, he's got to improve his resume in terms of the quality of fighters he goes up against. I watched him against Chris Algieri. You know, he took him to school, took him out in the fifth round. But Errol Spence is impressive. I like him a lot.